Hello, welcome to the Los Boyos Hermanos, presented by Breaking Bad. Today, we will be reviewing The Giver Book by Lois Lowry. You see, in this setting, it's a black and white type thing. Nobody can see any other thing. Everyone sees equal. Everyone is equal. The story includes four main characters, Jonas, Fiona, Asher, and The Giver. The story is about a carefree, intelligent man named Jonas who becomes the receiver of memory. And the receiver of memory is somebody who gets the memories of the past receiver because these memories are kept up, kept, these memories are locked up in the past receiver's mind so that they can keep sameness safe. They don't want people to think that sameness is horrible. They don't want people to think that sameness is bad because they don't have this stuff. They want people to stay in sameness. They don't want people to leave. The giver is a person with all these memories and he shares them with Jonas. The giver accidentally shared Jonas a horrible, terrible, frightening memory with Jonas. This makes Jonas wonder about his community's decisions. Jonas explains his escape plan to the giver. The giver agrees. The giver explains that once he reaches the border, he will share sameness what he's made of to everyone. The giver also explains that he will get to see his daughter, who was the failed receiver 10 years ago, who got released. Jonas takes Gabriel on his bike to escape the community. The adventure was very dangerous because of all these helicopters and people hunting him down. Jonas finally escapes with the courage and strength that the giver gave him. Now, this book comes to an end because we are not sure what comes next. It's on a cliffhanger with three other books. It's a big series. My opinion on the story, um, I think the book is really good. I would recommend it. I think it could be a, the best eighth grade book to read or maybe it could go down to seven to see. The moral of the story, the theme, it's all about how nothing can be perfect. Perfect never exists. And it shows a great example of it. I would read this book a million times even. I would want to. It's the best book ever. I think it's an amazing book. And I do recommend it. But the book, it gives us off, like it lets us off with a cliffhanger. But that's only because it's in a series. And the movie, they should give you a little bit of what could happen. Which is like the memories go back to everyone else. And I think that's really good about with the movie. But personally, I like the book better. Now you, Elijah. Oh, uh, well, personally, no offense, but I I disagree with you because I thought the movie was better because the book, yeah, you get to see, you get to understand the emotions of the characters. But the movie, all the visual effects and the sound effects, that just makes it more entertaining. And yeah. But the book, there were a lot of stuff that kept me on the edge of my seat and I could even relate to the characters. So yeah, it was a good book. <laughs> you Elijah. I disagree with you. I like the movie better because um they were you get to understand what the Oh my gosh <laughs> Like it is a good eighth grade book to read. Or maybe even for 7th or 6th grade. <clears throat> the, the book. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? There were many scenes that were very exciting. And yeah, I just want to watch another one. <laughs> what? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> keep that, keep that. Okay. Keep Oh. Now you see it here. <laughs> it's stupid shit. Go. Now you see here. The receiver of memory is somebody who gains memories from the past receiver because all of these memories are kept safe. Okay, let's receive. <laughs> Go. Hello. Welcome to the Los Bayos Hermanos. Today, we will. <laughs> Stop <laughs> <laughing>. <laughs> 